Hey guys, it's Darren from Comic Impact. Just saying hi. Throwback Thursday time. Let's talk about comics. This comic comes from the wonderful year of 2009 when Comic Impact was, of course, formed. And um, this says a very special issue of Captain America, and it is a very special issue because it has art by the masterful Gene Colan. I know it sounds awkward, but that is how you pronounce his name. I looked it up. Um, this is basically the, uh, I know Ed Brubaker was working on this issue for a long time so that Gene Colan would have had plenty of time to finish it. By the time Gene Colan got to this issue, he, um, he unfortunately, uh, was really slow. His eyesight was failing and doing, pumping out incredible artwork like this was not an easy thing for him to do. So this book, um, came out like a couple months before Gene Colan actually died. And it's a real tribute to him because um, the story of the issue isn't really the important thing. It's like, it's the aura. It's the, the sort of vibe of the book. It's, um, it's all about like a vampire rampaging through World War II, II Europe. And Gene Colan just nails it. I mean, just nails it. I mean, this is the guy that did Tomb of Dracula its entire run. I don't think he even missed an issue. And um, is the, the issue kind of starts with Nick Fury talking to Winter Soldier and said, man, did you, you ever think you'd, we'd have stuff like Civil War happening? I mean, that's crazy, people turning against you? And then, you know, the Winter Soldier kind of goes, no, actually, that reminds me of a vampire story. I don't really know why that would remind somebody of a vampire story, but it, it does. And um, anyway, so what happens is there's this, this story where Captain America is hunting vampires through World War II Europe. And it's really great, and it's a great showcase for a great artist who's no longer with us. And um, this is to the master, Ed Brubaker and Gene Colan. Check this one out, guys. I'll see you again on Throwback Thursday. Uh,